Hello everybody, good morning ladies and gentlemen. My name is Paulina Milewska and I will um, conduct this training about efficient literature search in a Science Direct uh, platform. Uh, I am a customer consultant in Elsevier and uh, I'm more than happy to welcome you on this uh, training. Okay, let me just start with with um, some basic information about our training today. So uh, we suggest viewing the presentation in full screen. Uh, you can find this option uh, at the bottom of the um, of, of the viewer. And if you click it, you will have a full screen. So this will be more comfortable for you just to uh, be here with me uh, during this training and also it will be easier for you to follow my steps in the second part of uh, my training when I will show you online um, demonstration on uh, how to use Science Direct platform in practice. Uh, so the first part of the training will be more like a lecture with slides. I will uh, I will show you uh, some, uh, I will share with you some informations, but then there will be also online training and this is why uh, it's very good idea to have the full screen on. Uh, also for your information, the session is being recorded. Uh, so all attendees will automatically receive the link to the recording and it will be available on demand at the same link as a registration. Uh, you can of course use that link, you can share that link with your colleagues that uh, can be also interested in our today's topic and um, I encourage you to do so if you uh, if you would like you can also use this link on your uh, website, on your social media, you can just share the training uh, with other people. Uh, this is of course free for everybody and um, open. Um, if uh, someone could uh, use ask a question section right now and tell me if you can hear me, if everything is okay, if you can see my presentation I will really appreciate that and of course uh, I also encourage you to use this ask a question feature during our training so I will be able to uh, answer your questions you will have uh, during my presentation okay I will wait just a second for any questions from you mm because I had some technical problems just before the webinar. I just want to be sure that everything here is going, uh, is going okay. Unfortunately, I can't see if anyone is here uh, on my, uh, on my talk. Everything is fine. We can see and hear. Okay. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that because uh, I had to change uh, my laptop uh, five minutes before <laughs> before uh, I started today's presentation and uh, it was a little bit stressful if everything will go okay. Thank you very much. Okay, so for today um, I prepared uh, general information about Science Direct for you so we will all know what is Science Direct platform, um, what is there, how to use it and what purposes um, are good to use Science Direct. I will share with you some search strategies and as I said I will do online demonstration just to show how to do it in practice and once again Q and A so uh, please um, 
So please uh, use this uh, feature. I can see uh, everybody is using it right now. So you all know how to do it. Great. OK, so let me start with uh, uh, basic information about sciencedirect.com. So this is a platform from Elsevier as a publisher. So uh, we have there all publications published by Elsevier and with Elsevier. And those are different types of materials. So you can find on sciencedirect.com articles and chapters, uh, journals, ebooks, topic pages, and also open access publications. As you can see, uh, there is a lot of materials there. So um, almost 80 million of articles and chapters. And what is most important uh, that all of this literature is peer reviewed. So this is a high quality content uh, you can find uh, on sciencedirect.com. Uh, this is a platform created for researchers and uh, we focus on that. The, uh, the content is uh, very well, uh, very high quality and also we are working constantly on improving the tool. Uh, so the experience with using Science Direct is uh, most comfortable for, uh, for our users. Uh, as I told you, we have uh, different types of um, of content. So you will find the journals, uh, which will have the latest information about uh, research. And uh, this is something uh, you would like to follow and to read uh, just to be up to date. But we also have uh, books and uh, there uh, you will find uh, different kind of ebooks uh, you can read all books you can read just the chapters and um, as i said open access also and all of that uh, content uh, are connected with each other with links so no matter uh, what are you searching for you will find in the same session as well on your results you will find as well journals as uh, books as well um, license uh, content as well as open access uh, content okay and let me just introduce you the search engine uh, that is on science direct uh, platform uh, so we have there a quick search bar or you can use advanced search form the, those are two ways you can search uh, on Science Direct for um, relevant uh, publications. Uh, so uh, we have here two strategies uh, you can use. Uh, first is search broadly and then filter. And second one uh, is to use advanced search. Uh, so you launch a narrow preselective query uh, in the second strategy. Uh, the first strategy will give you a lot of results. So after you click search, uh, you will land on the result page with all uh, of results in the, on Science Direct platform. And uh, this will be high amount of publications uh, for you there. So you will have to make another steps just to narrow your uh, research, uh, your search results, and uh, you can use a filters to do so. I will, of course, show you later uh, what kind of filters we have for you and how to use how to use them. And in the second way, uh, you will find uh, less results, uh, but you have to be prepared. Uh, so you have to sit down before you even open Science Direct and you have to think about keywords, about what are you uh, looking for, what are you searching for. Uh, you have to just focus and think uh, about how to prepare this uh, pre-selective query 
uh, of your idea. Okay, mm, on the slide you can see our quick search bar. This is something very useful. It's on the uh, main page of, uh, of the platform, uh, so you can always go there and uh, do uh, to the search um, no matter what strategy you are uh, choosing. Uh, because this uh, search bar is uh, created the way you can use it for both of them. And of course, also, if your query is uh, more complicated, you can go to advanced search uh, form. And this form um, allows you to fill in a few fields. And also remember that you can use uh, Boolean operators, including AND, or and not, not or minus. Uh, those are uh, operators uh, supported uh, on ScienceDirect. Um, important information is that you don't have to fill in information in all of those fields. Uh, you have to fill at least one of it. So you can decide on your own what kind of uh, search fields you will use for your advanced uh, search. While using uh, Boolean operators, uh, you can, of course, uh, create nested clauses using parentheses. And example, you have uh, on my slide, how can it look like? So this is always up to you how you will create the logic of your uh, search query. Uh, okay, uh, one more important information for you is that ScienceDirect supports uh, using uh, up to eight Boolean operators. So you can combine uh, up to eight terms, you can group them as well and uh, create a multi-level nested clauses, for example, black holes or radiation in brackets and gravity. This is the way you can, uh, you can use it um, anytime. And uh, this advanced search using Boolean operators, uh, please remember it works for the topic search like here, but also uh, with any other field. So for example, you can find a specific author. And if you don't want to have publications uh, he wrote with his colleague, um, they are often co-authors, but you want to see only uh, one author's uh, publications, uh, you can also combine it uh, using not operator or minus, this is this is the same. Okay. And uh, just to remind you how Boolean operators uh, works, uh, you can see here uh, groups and uh, how it looks like. So if you use and, uh, you will have uh, the part in the middle between two groups. If you use or, A or B, uh, you will have all results connected with A, connected with B, and also connected, uh, connecting together A and B in one uh, publication. And if you use not, you will exclude uh, everything that is anyway connected with B. Okay, so uh, when you look at that slide, you can also think about the um, searching strategy. Uh, because as you can see, the operators and not uh, will bring you less results. So if you want to narrow your search, if you want to have a smaller account of results, uh, please consider using operators AND and operator NOT uh, to do so. And also uh, the opposite strategy would be to use OR. If you have uh, not so many results, think about using operator 
or and uh, for example uh, think about finding similar keywords uh, to the keyword you already used maybe if you combine them together you will have uh, more uh, results or, and your search will be more effective. Um, Science Direct also does some things automatically, for example, uh, both variants, British and American spelling uh, are supported, so you don't have to uh, even think about it. And uh, also uh, with the uh, uh, with the plurals, uh, so if you put heart attack or heart attacks, it will bring you the same result. So you also don't have to uh, think about it. And of course, all information like the one you can see on my slide, you can find on sciencedirect.com. Uh, in the section with uh, search tips, I will show you where is it. So each time you have, uh, you don't, you don't have idea how to use our searching uh, engine. Just go there and find uh, tips uh, for your query. Okay, now let me just share a screen. And uh, once again, I would really appreciate if you. Uh, if you could use ask a question feature and just tell me if you can see Science Direct platform right now, because I would really like to show you how it works in practice. I opened the, uh, I opened the sciencedirect.com and as you can see, I hope you can see it, I'm already logged in. Uh, so the the first page, the landing page, can look a little bit differently than uh, what you are seeing after opening sciencedirect.com. Yes, you can see. Great. Thank you very much for confirmation. Uh, okay, so uh, sciencedirect.com. Uh, is is the platform for Elsevier's publications. Um, maybe I will remind you also one very important information that uh, Science Direct is full text platform. So you will not only find their information, like bibli bibliographic information about publications, but you will be also able to open the full text, um, download the PDF, uh, depending on your license, of course, and um, open access content uh, is, uh, of course, free to read and download for everybody. Uh, okay, so what you can see here is um, at the top of the page, we have this uh, quick search bar I told you about. Uh, also, up here we have uh, journals, uh, journals and books. It's here, and uh, uh, near that you have a question mark, which will lead you to a support center. So each time you have any technical problems or you don't know what to do next, you can click here and find relevant informations for you. Uh, or uh, you can also contact us and uh, let us know that something is wrong, something is not working well. Uh, this is Science Direct Support Center. Um, please go there each time you need help. Uh, next one is an uh, icon that will show you um, what institution brought, uh, brought you the access to Science Direct platform. This is very important because this will allow you to use full text content because it depends on your institution license. Uh, each time you can see here the name of your library, of your university, etc. Uh, it means that you are properly logged in as a, um, as a user uh, who can access 
uh, full text um, full text uh, publications. Okay, and the next one is, as you can see, my name. Uh, this means I already logged in to um, to be here in um, on Science Direct. I am a logged in user right now. Uh, I encourage you to create your own user account and to use it because you will have here uh, more um features that are available only for logged in users and this for example would be search history reading history alerts etc so very useful features um for you a creating account is of course free of charge everyone can do everyone can do it so uh please try it uh, okay, um, when I go down here, I can see my article feed in here. Uh, I have uh, followed two journals, so I can see the content of the journals immediately on my uh, main page. And if you go down, you will see uh, more information about um about uh, disciplines and what kind of articles we have here um, this is interdisciplinary multidisciplinary database so you will find materials from all scientific areas uh, subject areas so uh, just check what is interesting for you uh, for example i would like to see social sciences and I can, uh, on the left, I have uh, disciplines and uh, in the middle, I have popular articles. So something very, uh, very hot right now and uh, recent publications. So the latest publications uh, that were published on Science Direct. Uh, if you go down, you will also find help here and uh, video tutorials, for example, if you need anything uh, more, uh, just go there and uh, also remote access here. Uh, if you would like to have remote access uh, to Science Direct, just click here and uh, follow the instruction is very quick and very easy. And let me go to the search first of all uh, i would like to show you in practice those boolean operators and uh, how they work so i will do a simple search here and i will use uh, myocardial infection um, and i will i will just search for this uh, term. Okay, uh, I have here uh, 395,000, more than 395,000 results. And I'm doing it just to show you uh, the differences be between operators. So, for example, if I use OR and I put here a heart attack, Maybe someone used uh, this uh, this term. Uh, let me check the results. As you can see, it's uh, almost 30,000 more. So this is the strategy to have more results. As I told you, use operator or. Uh, but for example, if you have too many, of too much too many of results you can go um, to another idea and put here operator and uh, to combine uh, two terms you would like to have in the results for example i will put here pregnancy and let me check the results as you can see it's only 10% of the whole amount we had uh, before so this is a uh, quite big difference and also uh, you can use not let me just show you not it will also be yeah different 
uh, different amount of results. You will always see here uh, the number. It will show you how many publications uh, we have here on Science Direct platform connected with your search query. Uh, so this is like a basic information about uh, Boolean operators and I hope you know now how uh, how are they working and how to use it and for what purpose uh, you can use it. And let me just go further to uh, my uh, to my examples I prepared for today because I would like to show you two examples of uh, search in practice. Uh, so my first example is about my friend who is planning a new research project and she would like to check uh, if social media activity is somehow connected with the quality of sleep. So she would like to find recent research articles and journals uh, that are worth to read and follow. And uh, she would also like to be up to date with the topic because she will prepare a research project. So it's important for her to be up to date and see every new uh, publication about it that she could uh, that she could read. Uh, OK, so how can we help? her in this uh, in this kind of uh, situation. Let me go back to Science Direct. OK. Uh, so we have a few informations from from a colleague. So she's interesting in sleep and social media. Uh, so let me just use this uh, simple uh, quick search bar and uh, you can see here we have a few fields, keywords, author name, journal, book title, volume, issue pages. Um, this, um, this search bar you can use for topic search like I will do in a minute, but also you can use it just for quick search if you know uh, what article you are looking for, you know, the title or, you know, the author name or, you know, the journal or book title. Uh, this is very quick. You can just start uh, typing here and database will show you, for example, journals uh, connected with, um, with your term you typed in here. OK, but let me go back to our example. So we have uh, sleep and social media. Yes, mm, and I will search for that. OK, so we have here uh, combined uh, terms. We put here uh, together sleep and social media. So we can see all publications connected with those two terms. Uh, what I can do after I click search here and I have a lot of results, uh, more than actually almost 7,000 results, what I can do, I can filter uh, my results and refine them by different uh, things. So for example, I can refine by subscribed journals. So uh, if you click here, you will see only the content your institution uh, is subscribing. Uh, then I have filters for the uh, years of publication. Uh, so she wanted to be uh, to, to see uh, latest uh, latest research so maybe I will just uh, filter from 2018. Also I can choose article type for example research articles. Uh, what else I can do? I have here publication title. Uh, so here you have the journals titles 
and um, this is very helpful also uh, if you would like to follow some of journals because you can see here exactly what journals were publishing the most uh, text about this topic for example in computers in human behavior uh, there were 121 publications uh, connected to my search query. This is quite a uh, big amount, so maybe this title uh, would be interesting for me uh, to read and to follow. Uh, I can also choose uh, subject areas. Uh, you can see here different, uh, different subject areas. So uh, I remember that my friend is uh, working with computer sciences. So I will just narrow my search into this subject area. And uh, the last one is access type. So you can also choose that you would like to see only open access and open archive uh, content. Uh, you can always clear all your filters or you can just leave it right now like here uh, you can uh, you can change it um, anytime if you want okay so we have about 400 results right now we could add some more information here uh, if you uh, if we would like we can uh, add here another boolean operator another term uh, this is uh, always uh, up to the person who conduct the search. Uh, but what I would like to show you uh, is uh, how can my friend uh, be up to date? Yes, because she wanted to do so. So first of all, if that query is uh, the one with great results, so uh, I'm following my results page and I can see that um, those articles are very relevant to me. I can click here to set up an alert for this search query. So uh, each time you can see on Science Direct this kind of uh, little bell icon, uh, it means you can set up an alert. And uh, when I click it, I just have to uh, name my alert and uh, the next thing uh, i can set is frequency of email i can ask science direct to send me email each week or each month i will choose a monthly uh, alert i click save this is of course a feature available to logged in users so if you are not logged in you won't be able to do it science direct will ask you to log in first uh, and now my alert is uh, is set uh, so once a month i will uh, receive email about all new publications uh, connected to my search query uh, as you can see here uh, okay on the page web results, you have uh, you have all publications listed uh, in here by and this is sorted by relevance. Uh, you can all also uh, change it to the date. So then you will have the newest articles on the top. Um, uh, OK, you can also uh quickly read the abstract from the uh, from this page you can just open it read it and this way you can easily uh, decide uh, which articles are uh, really relevant for you for example the first two are interesting for me so i clicked uh, here just to uh, just to cho choose them and now you can see you can download those two articles you can uh, you can uh, download more uh, at once so you can click here just to uh, choose 
all 25 articles listed on the first page of results. Uh, you can also export them. Uh, so here you have the citations uh, and uh, you have to choose what format you would like to export. Uh, okay, so this uh, this was about searching a topic for my friend and she will be up to date with this topic because uh, she can set up uh, alert for the results. But also I was uh, telling you about the journals which were very active uh, in this topic. So for example, let me go to the first one, Computers in Human Behavior. Uh, you can see here that they have uh, more than 100 publications about it. So when I go to the journal website, I can uh, read all, all content. Uh, I have also all information about uh, this journal, about aims and scopes, about um, how to submit an article. I have a guide for authors. So also uh, if you are a researcher that uh, is planning to write a paper, uh, for example, about the same topic, uh, you can go here and find information about how to publish your own paper in this journal. Uh, we have here articles and issues, so you can see the latest issue, all issues, you can see articles in press, collections, etc. And uh, in here you can also set up an alert for the journal and I will do it right now. So for the journal Computers in Human Behavior, I would like to follow tables of content and also articles in press. And as you can see here, I have no option of frequency. Uh, it's default and uh, Science Direct will send you email uh, when new uh, documents will be published. So uh, the frequency is as published. Uh, you can, you can um, of course, check uh, the journal if it's uh, annual, semi-annual, uh, or maybe they publish quarterly issues. Uh, this is uh, alert for the journal. So as soon as editor will publish new article, you will receive information about it. Okay, so my alert is on. Uh, I can always manage my alerts. Uh, I can click here in manage my alerts page. Uh, and you can see here all of my alerts uh, for journals and books and also for search. You can see here I have a few of them and my today alert I created. Uh, you can edit alert on or you can delete it if you no longer want to follow the journal or, or the search. Uh, you can uh, come here also from your account and uh, uh, while you are logged in you can find the manage alerts in here from the menu. And this will be the same, just the same page I showed you. Uh, okay. Let me go to my other example for today. So the example number two. Uh, Okay, I have a I have a question. One second, please. I have to just uh, I have to just check the question because I have notification that someone would like to know something more. One moment, please. Okay, so the question is why we need to use quote marks uh, for social media. 
Okay. Uh, okay, so uh, if you have a term that has more than one word, it is good idea to use uh, quote marks because then uh, database will search exactly how it looks like in the quote marks. Uh, so you will not, uh, the, the, the searching engine will not search for social and media separately, but it will search social media as one term together, just how you put it, um, this in the, uh, in the uh, quote marks. I hope you understand my answer. I can uh, basically show you the difference if you would like. Just let me go back for a moment to Science Direct Platform be before I will go to the second example. Okay, so I used uh, a quote mark here um, with social media and please uh, look here at the results. So we have more than 75,000 results. If I delete it and leave like that social media and click search again, you can see I have much more results uh, because uh, Science Direct showed me also uh, publications that have these terms separately. Okay. Yes, thank you very much. And let me go to the second, to the second example for today, for today's training. Okay, so the example number two. Uh, I work in a foundation which uh, is uh, a foundation that uh, promotes bicycles as a transportation. Uh, so earlier this year, I was reading an article that highlighted that regular bicycling may help to reduce psychological uh, distress and improve, even improve a life satisfaction. But I don't remember the title. I'm sure that the study was citing uh, World, World Health Organization materials. And uh, I also remember that at least one author was from Beijing. Okay, I have uh, several information in my head and now I would like to uh, search for this article. Yes, so let me go back to Science Direct platform. Okay. Uh, for this kind of query, I will use advanced search form because I have a few information I can combine into one search query. And of course, I would like to show you uh, how it works. Um, uh, I clicked on the advanced search uh, from the results page and the results were for social media. So this form uh, of course, remember that, but uh, we are in the second example. Uh, so I, uh, so I will use a different, uh, of course, different terms. Uh, so on the general level, I'm looking for the uh, transport and mental health. Uh, I uh, I did it on purpose because I wanted to show you that if you do a little mistake, uh, misspelling, uh, Science Direct will show you this alert. You can see it on the left. Uh, so this is something very useful because sometimes we, uh, we just do errors. And uh, I think it's very nice to, to have the support uh, in, in, during our search. So I put it here, transport and mental health. And this is the field for uh, terms I would like to find in 
uh, articles. Yes, so this is very general uh, field. Um, if you want to know more about fields, uh, please uh, be welcome to click here on the search tips. And uh, there will be a page open for you uh, on how do I use advanced search and you will find here all informations and explanation uh, about all, uh, all fields. Okay, what else, uh, what else did I what else do I remember about this article? So um, I remembered that author, one of authors was from uh, Beijing. So I will put it in here. As you can see, it's author affiliation. I don't remember the name of uh, his or her university, etc. Uh, but I, I remember the name of the city, so I will try it. Uh, okay, and um, as I told you before, there are a few fields on the form. You can use all of those fields. You can use just one of one of them. You can combine as many as you want. I had one more. Uh, I have one more idea because uh, this was about bicycles. So I will put here bicycle. This is the field that will search for the term in title, abstract, or author specified keywords. And also I remembered that uh, this article uh, was citing materials from World, World Health Organization. So I also used this field for references here. And as you can see, I filled my field are full with information, but I didn't use all of the fields. Uh, you can see there is more of them. Just use it um, all relevant fields for your uh, search query. I will click search and let me just check what is here. Okay, I have two results and uh, I can um, look at them. And uh, after a title, I just remember it was the first one. It was exploring the casual effects of bicycling for transportation on mental health. So this is the power of advanced search. Uh, if we have more information, it is uh, easier to use this advanced search form and uh, and to just uh, have the small amount of the results so i can be sure right now i have only two results and i can be sure that the first one is the one i was uh, looking for i was reading lately and this is something uh, i wanted to to find i have another question and this is what means the publication year 2022 or 2023 thank you for the question so this is uh, this is a publications type articles in press and articles in press are articles that are uh, ready so they are uh, accepted they are peer-reviewed they have all um, all process from the editor uh, is done and for example we have a journal which is published annually and the editor have 10 articles ready right now and the issue will be published in 2022 but the editor decide that uh, he will uh, show this 10 ready articles right now okay so those articles are um, are not connected with the issue of the journal that has been already published but there will be no changes in those texts so you can uh, it's very safe to use it don't worry about it um, the only thing that 
can be missing is, for example, page numbers, okay? Because uh, the page numbers will be shown after the editor will close a uh, whole issue. Okay, uh, going back to my search results, I have here, uh, I have here my article, so I will click it just to go back to this research. And what I can see here, this is uh, the article page. So you can see here all bibliographic information, of course, uh, the title of the journal, the volume, uh, uh, publication date, etc. You will see all authors. Um, you can click show more to see the affiliation uh, of the authors. And this is why, as you can see, uh, this is why this information about authors city uh, was was in this search and you can see the first author is is from Beijing actually. Uh, okay, on the left you have the outline. So this is a quick way just to jump into the part of the text is the most interesting uh, for you. Uh, if there are any materials like tables or figures or videos, etc., you will always uh, see the list in here. So this is also a quick link to the additional materials in the, in the text. And uh, if you go down, you will have the highlights uh, always at the top, then the abstract and then the keywords and then the full text so you can um, so you can read the full text um, from here uh, you can also download the pdf um, uh, you can uh, you can open it here this will uh, this will uh, open the pdf reader for you and uh, you can download it uh, or you can or you can just use this uh, reader um, if you like it. There is also this outline and um, all uh, articles uh, info with also recommended articles. And um, recommended articles are very useful because you will find here information about um, publications that is um, connected uh, with that you have opened and uh, you are reading right now and uh, science direct will always show you uh, this recommended articles here and also in the pdf view and this will be the sec uh, six uh, most uh, relevant articles uh, based on keywords based on abstract, based on um, also users' activity. So if, um, if readers are um, often uh, reading this article and that article, um, Science Direct will recognize it and uh, put it into the recommended articles section. Okay, uh, from this side, uh, you can uh, also, of course, go to the journal. And once again, for example, you uh, could, uh, you could uh, set up an alert also for another journal you can see here. Um, okay, another way to find the journals and books, because uh, you may be interested interested in that you can use journal and journals and books uh, from the menu on the top and here you have uh, a browser uh, you can browse uh, all titles you can uh, click here and just type your title and then uh, you can uh, choose domain and uh, subdomain after choosing uh, domain, of course. So coming, we can, for example, put uh, transport in here. And you can already see uh, Science Direct shows you 
260 publications uh, with transport in the title and then you can choose a domain for example life sciences and you can choose you would like only to see journals and you have the results uh, for your search okay thank you very much for listening and for questions remember that um, anytime you would need any help you can go to the support center and contact us of course and uh, i encourage you also to join our next webinars uh, this week we have two uh, about the scopus so if you would like to know more about how to use scopus database you are more than welcome to join and next week i will speak about top five science direct features so i will uh, show more uh, features like uh, reading history search history um, recommendations personalized recommendations and also i will uh, tell about alerts uh, if you would like to get certificate that you were attending today's session, uh, please go to this uh, to this address, and uh, and uh, then uh, click the workshop code. You will be able also to take a short survey for me. Uh, so if you have. A minute or two, please do so. I will really appreciate that. And this way you will get Researcher Academy certificate uh, for you. Let me just, I will just try. Uh, no, I can't do it from here. I wanted to copy the uh, to copy this information for you, but I hope it's not very difficult to uh, just to type from the you know, from the slide. You can see it's not very complicated. I hope. And of course, thank you very much once again, and I hope to see you again um, on our webinars. I will upload this presentation. To, to this uh, training um, so if you uh, if you use the link for the recording you will be also able to download this presentation later and uh, and uh, of course visit our Facebook page because we are uh, informing you about all events from Elsevier and also we are sharing good practices uh, tips and tricks so uh, if you are on facebook go to facebook.com elsevier cee and this will be the page uh, for you to find out all information about what's going on right now and for example um, upcoming webinars and if you would have any more questions you want to contact me uh, this is my email address you can use it and ask a question after uh, training if there will be something you would like to know more about okay thank you very much and have a nice day bye bye <music>